Hello, I'm Weatherbug Meteorologist Rachel Peterson. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Sound familiar? Well, this is how Dorothy and her dog Toto in the movie The Wizard of Oz made it back to Kansas after being swept away by a tornado. Tornadoes are pretty common in Kansas and the Great Plains because it's relatively flat from Texas to the Dakotas with lots of warm, moist air coming in from the south and dry, cold air moving east and south out of the Rocky Mountains and Canada. This makes for the perfect setup for thunderstorms to form, and these storms often produce tornadoes. Tornadoes are violent, rotating columns of air extending from a thunderstorm to the ground. Tornadoes can last from several seconds to more than an hour, but most tornadoes last less than 10 minutes. While a tornado isn't going to carry a house to a far-off land, it is capable of producing tremendous destruction with wind speeds above 200 miles per hour. Damage paths can be wider than a mile and longer than 50 miles, destroying homes or tossing vehicles and other objects around, killing 80 people a year and injuring over 1,500. Most of these violent and destructive storms occur here in the Great Plains. That's why this is called Tornado Alley. Although tornadoes occur in many parts of the world, they are most frequent in the United States. On average, 800 to 1,000 tornadoes are reported a year. So what makes a tornado, and why is it so destructive? Well, the Wizard of Oz would give you the simple answer. Warm, moist air collides with cold, dry air. The warm air is forced upwards very quickly, causing thunderstorms. As the thunderstorm gets taller, the air changes direction and picks up speed. This causes the storm to rotate. It's the rotating air that makes tornadoes so destructive, and the stronger the winds, the more severe the damage. Tornadoes are ranked on what we used to call the Fujita scale, or F scale, but with technology making buildings stronger, we had to update it. Now it's called the Enhanced Fujita scale, and ranks a tornado between an EF0 and an EF5. It's based on things like wind speed and damage. Now when you think of a tornado, this is probably what you picture, but not all spinning air is a tornado. Dust storms and water spouts are deceptive in that they look like a tornado but are not. Dust devils aren't storm related and usually only have winds of 20 to 40 miles per hour. These are caused by the sun heating the ground and the hot air rising. Water spouts on the other hand are storm related. It's basically a tornado over water and water spouts are typically smaller than a tornado alley twister and not nearly as strong. Water spouts however can still cause damage by overturning boats and damaging ships. Oh and one more thing, a water spout is considered a tornado if it moves on to land. Tornadoes can form anytime, anywhere, but are most common between March and May in the south and in the summertime for the northern states and are most often found between 3 and 9 p.m. With this information on hand, keep an eye to the sky and make sure to check out Weatherbug's Severe Weather Alert section for the latest updates on tornadoes in your area.